What Once Was Mine, Chapter 48. Flynn and Gina. That's her, it's Rapunzel, Flynn cried, throwing his arms around Gina. She smiled a small Gina smile. That hair, Captain Tresberg said in awe. The baby princess, silver hair like the moon. He recovered himself quickly. Well, I don't know what the full ramifications of all this are, but certainly something strange is afoot, and you were, against all odds, telling the truth. Conrad, ride straight back to the castle as fast as you can and update the lieutenant on everything. But also, and this is very important, the king and queen must know. He took out a tiny dagger, more of a decorated fruit knife than a serious weapon, and handed it to the man. This was their gift to me after the Battle of Groden. They will know you speak for me, and that this is serious. At once, sir, the guard said, saluting. He leapt on his horse and galloped off. Now what? Gina asked. We wait until your army comes and we storm the castle? No nothing doing, Flynn said, stretching. I'm going in. The captain looked at him hard, obviously trying to figure out something. You're serious? He finally said. Yep. You know if they catch you, which they will, the Countess will torture you until you wish that you had died under the headsman's axe back home. Yes, Tregzy, thank you. I'm aware of that. This is an entirely new side of Flynn Rider we haven't seen before, the older man said thoughtfully. Good luck, Gina said. There's more of a chance of us getting caught if we both go. I'll stay back and rescue you and Rapunzel if it comes to that. Couldn't have said it better myself, Flynn said. Except for that part about me needing rescue. That was garbage. Conrad rode back to the castle with the dagger and the message, and Flynn Rider marched toward Castle Battle 3 to sneak in and save the princess.